boy, the uh, staccato shadow sounds like the uh, the kind of thing a cat would type. This is probably one of my favorite new weapons to come to this game. And as I'm recording this, it's not new. I know, I should have made a video right when this came out, but I didn't. But here we are. This weapon comes from the boombox set, right alongside the woofer and that crappy sniper and that pistol, which should be nicknamed the hot mess rather than a hot mix. But the staccato shadow is not like its pistol brethren. It is probably one of the better shotguns to be added to this game in a long time. So uh, it's, it's interesting because I almost rediscovered it on stream the other day. I had a blue blue perk variant that somebody had given me uh, thank you to whoever, th whoever that was and I was trying it out and even with blue perks it was as good or better than many of my gold uh, variation weapons um, this weapon is is interesting because it doesn't look as good as it is right away in fact you can see in the smasher test here it kind of looks like it's not doing that much damage but what you're really seeing there is instead of an insanely high DPS it's not doing a ton of damage per second uh, if you hit a bunch of crits you can definitely kill it a lot faster what you're seeing is a weapon that is really really fast fire rate it can knock out a lot of enemies really fast in fact by what I mean by DPS is like it can knock out a lot of enemies very fast because it does just enough damage to kill most enemies enemies in one or two shots and you can get off a lot of those shots pretty quick so even though it's not like you know melting a smasher it's actually doing really really good in crowd control and that's especially true when you consider the fact that in my perk sometimes it's killing an enemy sometimes it's killing three enemies I think I don't know what all of them are but if in this case if I stun or knock back an enemy there are different triggers I mean it makes enemies dance around them for a short while and that's really really nice if you have the perk that I was convinced to switch off of and that's the damage to dancing enemies I was convinced by somebody on the stream that the overall damage is kind of nice on this perk loadout because the impact isn't insanely high and it's actually quite rare that I knock an enemy back. So the activation for dancing enemies wasn't really always there and I would have preferred 30% damage overall. Um, I still kind of stand by that but if you have this weapon and perhaps it's like killing an enemy where they start dancing then killing an enemy is probably the best because you can kill an enemy, activate the dancing enemies, shoot the dancing enemies with your extra damage, then then after you kill them, it'll make the other enemies dance, and it's a chain reaction of enemies dancing to their death, and that's a really good way to go. But that's uh, not exactly the way I went here, and in fact, I went instead of crit damage. And when it comes to shotguns, it's kind of interesting because they usually don't shoot fast enough because crit damage is sort of banking that most of your shots will crit and in the end your overall DPS will be higher. But when you're killing an enemy in one and two shots, you don't really need everything to crit. So it depends on who you are and how you feel about making a weapon loadout. Some people would like to go double crit rating, some people would like double crit damage. I might switch back to dancing enemies now that I've kind of learned more about these weapons and playing with them more and more, but the damage is kind of what I've got for now. So yeah, crit rating and crit damage might be the preference here but I think damage and fire rate might be another good way to go that's a really fun one for shotguns because you'll be shooting really really fast and you'll be doing more damage per bullet consistently that being said if you crit your overall average damage per bullet is actually quite a bit higher but your overall damage per second is is typically the same but in shotguns you know especially with a smasher for example if you're shooting a smasher or a miss monster and they're running at you and you're not critting you're not critting you're not critting it's a pretty desperate feeling so fire rate and damage might be another way to go but that's entirely up to you as for the reload perk i don't think either of these are preferable i mean if you want durability just make a bright core all right i see you i see you over there conscious about your materials make it sunbeam if you know it's good for you but if you want durability you know make a bright core you know what i mean you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm sorry I had to do that to you guys. I'm sorry you guys have see that. So, reload is definitely the way to go, especially when it comes to a shotgun. You're going to be reloading constantly. And if you want the best shotgun loadout, I'll link in the description below. Uh, spoiler alert, one of the thick skeleton lady perks on there is uh, the 15% damage for reloading. And if you want that to be active as much as possible, you're going to want a fast reload speed. So, hopefully that covered the staccato shoutout for you guys. Hopefully I explained everything clear enough. If you have any questions, ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support the channel, you should use your creator code, Mr. Right, right over, right over here. You should plug that in. You know, you know. Anytime you're buying anything in the shop, feel free to use that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day.